In this week's Central Illinois Sports Report, I show you bowling from another perspective, one you may never try or truly understand. And it may not be easy, but it's the only way some athletes know how to play. In this case, you don't have to see it to believe it. The sense of touch. Find the rail. And listening to your surroundings is all it takes. There it is. It's just that escape from everyday uh, dealing with the blindness. Jim, Larry, and Jamie all enjoy bowling together. None of them can see. At nine months of age, I was diagnosed with what is essentially cancer of the retina. His eyes were placed with prosthetics. As for Larry... I lost my vision when I was seven years old. And Jamie... When I was 25, I went totally blind from uh, bad cornea. They tell a similar story in which sports, bowling, have been a part of. And just because they can't see doesn't mean they can't do it. My average is about a 79. Ends up there about every year. Uh, I can go anywhere from like a 70 to, I have to set as high as 166. The rules are the same, but the technique may differ. To start, a guardrail guides bowlers to the lane. What's easy is nothing changes. Like, your rail will always be, for me, being a uh, right-handed bowler, the rail will always be on my left. Uh, you only take so many steps. Like, I can picture it in my mind. One, two, three, release. You can use all those things. A sighted person lets the bowlers know which pins they have left. Then again, sometimes just the sound Nothing. is enough. You kind of have to focus on a little bit where you're throwing and kind of tune out the sounds around you a little bit because obviously you've got other, other people bowling on other lanes and that can distract you a little bit if you're paying too much attention to it. Listening to what's in front of you and not around you is key because when the moment comes, focusing leads to the sound of success. I did not. You got a strike. I but success isn't always about the score. Helps you get out of your misery a little bit. Help you forget about some of the rough times, some of the rough stuff, some of the stuff you got to do. Battling blindness comes with challenges, of course, but maybe in ways you don't initially think. Bowling as a kid, for me, it was a little bit of, are people watching me? Am I looking goofy doing this? Sure, the gentlemen still have hard times even today but it's through sports they can learn to overcome them. Do not let people tell you you cannot do it. There are ways to do all kinds of sports. So rather than spare a fun time, it's all about striking <laughs> a good one with friends. <laughs> Jim says it would be helpful if there was technology like a talking scorekeeper or scoreboard that would tell players how many pins are knocked down and which ones are left.